Unigear is fitted with an array of interlocks and features in order to improve the safety level and to reduce the risk of incorrect operation. We would like to show you the complete sequence needed to withdraw the circuit breaker and access the cable compartment and then we will put the switch gear back into working condition. The operator cannot withdraw the breaker. In fact, if you give a closer look through the window, we can see that the circuit breaker is inserted but in closed position. Therefore, we need to trip it by means of the ref 542 Plus. The screen of the ref 542 Plus now shows that the circuit breaker is inserted and open, as confirmed by this quick view through the door. At this point the circuit breaker can be safely withdrawn in test position and we will have the possibility to open the door. When the door is completely open, we have a direct view of the circuit breaker operating mechanism with the auxiliary plug on the top still connected to the switchboard. We can notice the interlock which prevents the auxiliary plug from being removed when the circuit breaker is not in fully withdrawn position. If we remove the plug, the circuit breaker can be extracted from the cubicle by means of a proper trolley which can be safely secured to the panel during the travel and that is fitted with proper locks to make sure that the breaker will remain in place when the trolley is moved away. We are now showing you the fail-safe interlock which prevents the operator from getting access to the live bushings by removing shutters. We can go ahead and try to open the cable compartment in order to check the status of the terminals, but this operation is prevented by a proper interlock which requires the earthing switch to be in closed position. To earth the cable side, we insert the key to get access to the proper shaft, then we insert the lever and we operate the earthing switch. Now that the earthing switch is close to ground, we can operate the key lock and remove the key to make sure nobody will operate it while we work on the cables. When the earthing switch is closed, we can open the cable compartment door to get access to the cables. An additional safety lock prevents the earthing switch from being operated while the door is still open by obstructing the access to the shaft. Now we can close the door Insert the key to be able to open the earthing switch, open the earthing switch and operate on the key lock to prevent anybody to close it again. We can now insert the breaker and then reconnect the auxiliary plug to have the breaker ready in test position. At this point the circuit breaker cannot be inserted with the door open because these could lead to a dangerous situation in case of a fault. This lock is achieved on the circuit breaker shaft, thanks to a stud located on the door. With the door closed, we can safely insert the circuit breaker in the cubicle. This operation can be also monitored on the screen of the Red 542 relay, where we see the circuit breaker in test position, 
in intermediate position and finally inserted position. At this stage the circuit breaker could be closed and the load re-energized. 